So before we get in today's video, guys, I want to give Street Speed 717 a huge, huge shout out for giving me the opportunity to make a video slash a few videos with this thing and allowing me to drive it and take it for a few hours. This Jeep is up for giveaway. If you go to InShaneDesigns.com, InShaneDesigns.com, every $5 spent on their website on any product on there gets you an entry for this Jeep. So as you can see, it's wrapped, it's lifted, it's on 37s. Actually, I think it's lifted, I don't know. It's got bumpers, there's a winch going on it, so there will be a winch on there. It's even got a rear bumper, so this thing is ready to go, and it's a six-speed. If you stop over at the Inchain Designs website, every $5 spent gets you an entry, so you can buy a little, you can buy yourself in a, a little key tag like this one, and then you could freaking win a gladiator. So let's get out. Let's make a first impressions video because I'm excited. So brand new car smell, mint. Oh, LED interior lights. There is side steps, rock sliders. I didn't even notice that. First impressions. I think it has more room than the XJ in the back seat. It feels like a Wrangler. So, I mean, if you're into Wranglers, it feels exactly like a Wrangler, except there's a bed attached to the back of it. It feels nice. Like, this, the steering wheel feels great. I love the steering wheel. I have a thing for fat, bulky steering wheels. The screen is a little small. I thought it was going to be bigger than that. We're in neutral. Clutch in. And it is start, stop on a button. So clutch in, press the button. No, do you have to hold the button? Oh, you have to hold the button. Oh, and there it is. I forgot he cut the exhaust off. I think the exhaust was cut off of this. Or it might be a complete exhaust. I'm not too sure. 1,086 miles on the dash. We're gonna let her warm up a little bit it's got a quarter tank of gas so we probably will have to get gas thankfully it's cloudy but it is a 50 degree day thankfully i'm just so grateful for this opportunity like when i heard about the gladiator i wish i was saving my money from the time i turned 10 like this i love glad i love the way they look now i haven't driven a jl i've driven uh 2013 two-door jk and a 2007 four-door jk so a jku all those were manual so this is a manual that's a manual and both of the other ones were manual so comparing those to the 07 this actually feels better like, i did not like the way i felt in the 07 i don't know what it was but this I feel, I already feel better sitting in it. I don't feel awkward like I did before. Now, rookie mistake, I did install, but I know there's a little lever here for reverse and I put it in sixth gear thinking that was reverse. So already off to a bad start. So clutch in all the way to the left, button up and then reverse. And then that's how we know in reverse, the backup camera comes on. I know there isn't any cops on this road, so let's get a pull. First gear. and a six speed and I think 300 horsepower and that's what you get another thing I find very strange to this Jeep is I I get that it's a 2020 it's a brand new vehicle like it only has a thousand miles on it um, the strange thing to me is though I was not expecting the steering to be so tight and accurate so it might have a little play right here it might have a little bit of a dead zone at, pretty much but when turning it it's tight like I, I it surprised me i turned and it was like on the other side of the road and it was, surprised me it caught me off guard i think the fastest i've gone so far is 40. now it's actually pretty quiet in here besides the exhaust not being there um 
wind noise wise and tire noise wise you don't you can still hear a little bit of wind because this does have the soft top on it but not nearly as bad as I thought it was going to be now I have only done 40 I haven't driven down the highway quite yet when I first got in here like I said the screen was very small it caught me off guard I thought it was gonna be a big uh, touch screen so seeing how small it was I assumed it wasn't a touch screen but it actually is a touch screen radio so that's a plus in a way for even how small it is this does have obviously a Bluetooth connection where you can hook your phone up to so you never have to take your hands off the wheel to answer a phone call as you can see on the left side of the steering wheel here you can hang up and an or hang up and answer phone calls and whatever this little guy does that's speaking to you around here there's some pretty twisty roads and like I said I've been doing I've been fluctuating between 30 and 40 I've just been cruising in fourth gear most of the time I haven't used fifth and sixth yet but the roads around here are they're curvy and the gladiator does not seem like it wants to wander to the other side of the road like it's gonna flip over on you now like I, I've only been doing 30 and 40 but with this tight accurate steering it moves through these turns very well now me I daily drive a 95 XJ with no sway bars front or rear so that thing I'm pretty much comparing this to my daily driver which is a big difference in years and technology but that's what I that's what I have to go off of I driven a few JK's so I can base some information off of that I don't really remember how they drive but I can tell you I feel safe taking corners in this Jeep here we are in fifth gear about half throttle I would say speed limits 45 and I'm doing 42 and it won't pick up speed so I'm gonna have to downshift so I don't piss the cars off behind me but these 37s definitely dog this thing down a little bit at lower RPM ranges. I can say now I can hear the wind noise a bit more doing 45 and now we're on some open road. So there's definitely some wind noise there. But if nothing that bothers me, like I said, I drive a 95 Cherokee as my daily. So... I hear lots of noise. I have holes in my floor. It's pretty much just a straight pipe anyways. So as long as I can't hear squeaking under the dash and every time I turn my exhaust and leaf springs squeak also and grind against each other, it's all good. <laughs> so I think the whole thing that throws me off with driving this in a manual is I feel like the throttle body is powered electronically through the gas pedal and now I don't I think that's called drive by wire or something. I just feel like there's a slight delay from when I hit the gas to when I come off the gas. So like when I hit the gas, I feel like there's like a little delay of when the power actually comes on. And then when I let off, I feel like there's a delay of when it stops giving the Jeep power. So I feel like that might be a little bit of where my confusion is at with driving this thing. If that's not the reason, then I don't know what to blame it on because it's definitely weird from a dead stop. So I just checked the audio settings and it is set to be accurately like in the middle of the Jeep pretty much but I feel like I'm getting all the noise from this front left speaker and it, it's kind of throwing me off so that's why I had to check but I don't know how good the audio goes like it's not my vehicle so I don't want to blare the music I don't want to haul ass in this thing even though I just got pulled over for freaking speeding but I don't want to beat on it I don't want anything to break it's not my vehicle it's somebody it's street speed and insane design it's their vehicle as of now and then in the future will be your vehicle or somebody else's vehicle for a giveaway still cruising in fourth gear fifth and sixth gear just don't seem to do it at this type of speed it's actually pretty easy to keep straight it is a little it sounds windy I can't tell if it is actually windy or not, but it is it is driving in a pretty straight line pretty easily. 
Now the steering, like I said, it is tight. It's not soft, it's not loose. I feel like it's very direct for what it is. Now I'm not a professional car reviewer or car driver or anything, but it does feel, everything about this feels great to drive. Even driving down those back twisty roads that weren't paved flat, there was potholes and bumps all over the place. It still felt very, very comfortable to drive. I just, I find it so hard to believe I was speeding. I thought that's the only way to get it to come on. And now I'm just pressing things and found that. <laughs> GTRs in my opinion and this thing sounds absolutely baller and the fact that it doesn't have a lot of power so you, and a, a long RPM range and long gears you're in that RPM range so long and you just get to hear a solid sound without having to shift a gear or the sound being interrupted and it sounds great it might be the wind pushing this thing which I'm, I think it is the wind pushing this thing yeah it drives straight so being a big boxy vehicle, you're definitely going to get pushed around a little bit. Now, like I said, it doesn't wander too much, but coming down that road and shifting, it was definitely wandering off to the left a little bit. I just noticed this engraving since 1941 on the gear shifter, so that's pretty cool. As always, Wranglers have the grab handle here as, do, as well as this Gladiator. Um, I haven't sat in the passenger side yet. Pretty roomy, I'm not kicking anything up here. Um, obviously this has power windows and stuff. I don't know if you can get a Gladiator with crank windows. For your blind sides or blind spots while driving, they're not too bad. Um, I mean, these mirrors do a pretty good job of seeing everything up to like from this point and back so really as always when you're merging you just have to look over your shoulder and you'd be able to see a car as it's not that much taller than anything on the road it's not like it's a humongous vehicle so guys that's going to do it for this first impressions video sorry if there is any wind noise i'll try hiding real quick actually if you are interested or want to win this 2020 six-speed gladiator Go to InShaneDesigns.com 
order anything off their website every five dollars spent is one entry into this gladi to win this gladiator so you spend ten dollars that's two entries the more money you spend the better chance you have at winning this it is also before i forget equipped with black rhino wheels and the tires are a pro comp mt2 extreme mt2 now also obviously this is not painted like that it is a wrap so if you're not a fan of the wrap or if you're not a fan of the mouth the mouth is a its whole separate piece and you can leave the wrap or you can take it all off and underneath it is an entirely black vehicle if you guys enjoyed this gladiator video leave a thumbs up if you're new to this channel hit the subscribe button down below if you think we should lease one let me know Get rid of the XJ Lisa Gladiator and take it off road. That would be sick. Or if you think we should buy this as a tow pig, let me know down below. But I will see you guys in the next Gladiator video. Peace out.